And joining us now on the Granite City School District Alumni Spotlight is a 2001 Granite City High School graduate. Joining us from Norman, Oklahoma, Liz Stopkati Lightman. Thank you for joining us, Liz. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Much appreciated. Well, I, I want to get right into it. So you're a meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Norman, Oklahoma. Where did your love for weather begin? Well, it, my love for weather and fascination for weather actually kind of grew out of the fear of thunderstorms. Uh, when I was a little girl, I was terrified of thunderstorms. And my mom actually took me to the library there in Granite City. And we checked out some books about the weather to try and, you know, help me understand a little bit more about what was going on and hopefully not be as afraid. And then uh, it, that kind of started an obsession and by the time I was in high school, um, my earth science teacher, Diana Prasma, who is retired now, um, she knew that I loved weather and was interested in the weather service. And she was always really very supportive. Um, so it's really been a lifelong pursuit. So talk to our followers, our viewers today. What is your daily role at the National Weather Service in Norman, Oklahoma? So in my current position at the Storm Prediction Center, I am what's called a mesoscale outlook forecaster. And so a couple of my main duties are that I issue our severe weather outlooks and we issue those out through eight days. And these outlooks highlight areas of risk for severe thunderstorms. So things like damaging winds, tornadoes, hail, um, those types of things. And then we write a technical discussion that describes what we're seeing in the data uh, to support us issuing these risk areas. And then another part of my job is assisting our lead forecaster who has sole responsibility for issuing the severe thunderstorm and tornado watches and writing some short-term early discussions um, talking about the environment, the ingredients that we're seeing uh, that could lead to severe weather across an area and kind of giving an early heads up to other meteorologists at our, at our local forecast offices, broadcast meteorologists, emergency managers, uh, to let them know that conditions are becoming favorable that we'll, we'll probably need a watch issued soon. And so those are, are some of my main uh, responsibilities at work. Now, Liz, I know you've been uh, in this profession now for almost 20 years, so you obviously have a love uh, for weather and meteorology. What do you love most about your job? Well, the, the job itself is just a lot of fun. You know, like I said, I, I have a passion for severe weather, and so every day I get to come into work and, you know, watch storms. And, you know, I feel really, really lucky to be able to do that. The job itself is challenging. Um, you know, predicting the future, <laughs> predicting the weather is not easy. And um, so, so there's definitely a challenge aspect to it. And every day is different. You know, the weather never stays the same. And so uh, every day is something new. You learn something every day. And, um, but, you know, it's a really great feeling also our, our mission is protecting lives and property. And so being able to, you know, help people is, is top on the list. Liz, let's take it back one week, February 15th, a, a monumental day. Um, Liz became the first female from the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center to issue a public thunderstorm and tornado watch. And I know this story is, is it's a national story now, and we're very proud of Granite City mm -hmm. to get to show off what you've done. What was that moment like? Well, I, I knew coming into that, that day, it was my first lead forecaster training shift. And we already had a severe risk in our in our forecast outlook. Um, so I knew that that day might be the day. I didn't sleep too well the night before. There was a lot of anticipation and some nerves, um, but it was very exciting. And, you know, being able to be the first woman um, to issue one of those watches, uh, it was just uh, really exciting. And, 
um, you know, as I was issuing the watch, my coworkers all kind of gathered around my workstation and were watching and one, and one of them was taking pictures. And after, you know, I sent it out, we all just kind of celebrated and, um, you know, it was just a really great moment. Liz, I know you told me that it's, it's a male dominated profession. Um, so obviously you're breaking grounds for yourself for young women, older women, if you had any advice to a young, maybe a Granite City High School student um, that would like to follow in your footsteps, maybe they love weather just like you, um, what advice would you have for them? Um, I would say the biggest thing is believe in yourself. You know what your passion is, you know what you want and what you're capable of. So don't let anyone else try to determine your path for you. Um, you know what you want, go for it. There are lots of women here who will be supporting you along the way. Well, Liz, I wanted to thank you very much for taking some time out. I know you have done numerous interviews the last week, and I'm sure it's been a great week. I do have one last question for you. Obviously, sure. with the last name of Stopcotty, you have to have some relation into the roller skating rink uh, for mm -hmm. a lot of us uh, that are you know, 40, 50, 60, 70 years old. Yes, uh, that was my grandparents. They they owned the roller skating rink, and then my my parents took it over uh, from them. And yeah, so that that's my family. <laughs> that's great. Thank you for sharing mm -hmm. that story. Well, Liz, I sure. wanted to thank you very much for coming on here on our alumni spotlight with the Grant City School District. We wish you continued success, and uh, and thank you very much. All right, thank you.